All right, no holding back. Here's how to start investing in real estate step by step. I'm going to lay it all out, but I bet you no one's going to watch this because it has too much information and no one's going to take action from it. But here we go. Step one, pick an investing strategy and stick to it. There's three main ways you can make money real estate investing. First, fixing and flipping. This is when you fix up a house and you sell it for a profit. Second is wholesaling. This is when you find a seller who's motivated, you get them to agree to a price, and then you find a buyer and agree to sell it at, to them at a higher price, and you make the difference. Then there's rental property investing. This is when you buy a house, rent it out, and after all of your expenses, that's your profit and passive income every month. So you need to pick one of these strategies and stick to it because each one has their own methods and formulas and ways of investing, and you'll get overwhelmed if you don't pick one and stick to it. Step two is to pick a location to invest based on data. You want to look up these factors, crime rate, unemployment rate, population growth, home price, rent price, property tax rate, and whether the city is in a landlord friendly state or not. Then use a spreadsheet like this to track all of the data and rank the cities. You want to pick the city with the best data. The third step is making sure to get your financing in order. The easiest way to do this is to call up a local bank and don't worry if you don't have one, I can provide one for you. Call them and literally say this. Hey, I'm looking to buy an investment property in, insert city here, and I was hoping to get pre-approved for a mortgage. Can you help me with that? Then they're going to ask you questions about your credit score and your job history and your tax returns. Give them the answers and they'll tell you if you qualify or not. Then they'll give you a pre-approval letter. Step four then is to go look at properties every single day and analyze them. Go to your favorite website like Zillow and then start looking at properties and analyzing them. If you find one you like, call up a real estate agent. Ask them to set up automated listings for your preferences, like location, property type, and price point. When you see a property you like, analyze it to determine if the property is a good investment or not. First, you must add up all of the income from the property, which is typically the rents. And then you want to add up all of the expenses. Subtract that from the income. Whatever you have left over is your cash flow. You should be looking for cash flow monthly and cash on cash ROI. When you find a property that makes you $150 to $500 a month in cash flow that you like, make an offer. Then you have to repeat steps four and five over and over again until you get one offer accepted. I get it, you're frustrated with all these people who are talking about the what but not teaching you the how, but don't assume that everyone you come across on the For You page is doing the same thing. There's good people out there that want to help you succeed. Make sure to hit the follow button to learn how to buy your first investment property step by step.